for example, we have the variable scores. Let's say your scores is denoted with the variable x. Okay, and the scores of your five students, um, wherein the highest is 10, are 2, 4, 3, um, 7. Let's say we have the highest is 10. Okay, so you will have x of 1 equals to 2, x of 2 equals to 4, x of 3 equals to 3, and x, uh, x of 4 equals to 7, and x of 5 equals to 10. If you want to get the sum of their scores, and write it in a summation notation form, you will write the sum of x of i, i from 1 to 5. 5 because your n equals to 5. Okay? So, before you can solve the sum of your observations, you have to write the summation notation into its expanded form. So, the expanded form of your sum of x of i, i from 1 to 5, is x of 1 plus x of 2 plus x of 3 plus x of 4 plus x of 5. Okay? So, your x of 1 refers to your first observation, which is 2. So, you will have 2. Then x of 2 is 4. We'll have 4. Then x of 3 is a 3. x of 4 is 7. And x of 5 is 10. Okay? So, you may use calculator to get the sum. Or you may add it manually or uh, mentally. So, the sum of your observation x of i, i from 1 to 5, will be equal to 26. The sum of your y sub i square, i from 1 to 5, is different from your y sub i, i from 1 to 5, quantity raised to 2. Okay, how does it differ? So let's try to write it in expanded form. We have y sub 1 square plus y sub 2 square plus y sub 3 square plus y sub 4 square plus y sub 5 square. So that is the expanded form of your y sub i raised to 2 i from 1 to 5. Whereas your expanded form of your y sub, sum of y sub i, i from 1 to 5 raised to 2 is y sub 1 plus y sub 2 plus y sub 3 plus y sub 4 plus y sub 5 quantity raised to 2. So that's the difference. In the first summation notation, you try to square each observation. But in the second summation notation, you try to add first before squaring the uh, sum of the observations of your set Y. Let's have the, the example. So for example, you have 0, 2, um, 1, 4, and 3. So you, let's say for example, we have this set of observations for your variable y. And if you want to solve for this, we already have discussed it. We already discussed one example for this summation notation. We have here y, uh, the sum of y sub i squared, i from 1 to 5 is equal to 0 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 4 squared plus 3 squared. Okay, so you already know that uh, in this summation notation, you have to square each observation first before getting its sum. Okay, so you have 0 plus 4 plus 1 plus 16.